At the time of recording this, it is now 1 a.m. I'm walking home from the bar. Only one vodka cranberry and a shot in, so we're doing pretty good, all things considered. Uh, but March Madness was on. Uh, Penguins versus Rangers game was on, which is a pretty big deal here in New York. And obviously, the LCS was on earlier with 100 Thieves picking up what is now a much-needed win to make sure that we are in good standing going in, into tomorrow. So I'll quickly recap the game. Tenacity was a god. His Gragas engages were absolutely incredible. Closer played well a little bit in the early game. We need to make sure if we're going to gank bot lane early that we go back prior to 20 minutes to make sure that we're still not getting four-man camp bot like it's still consistently happening. But nevertheless, hopefully that comes back around. But overall, we're playing pretty good. Bjergsen did pretty well in the Ari. Uh, his flash, his prediction on Jojo Pin's flash was a very uh, good play. And then obviously, Doublelift is now creeping up into my all pro uh, team, third all pro with the loss from FlyQuest. And if they lose tomorrow, I'm definitely putting them third, but we will, we will see from there. Regardless, with the standings as they are right now, 100 Thieves now entirely control their own destiny. All we have to do is keep winning, and we are guaranteed double elimination. Guaranteed, at worst, fourth seed, possibly third, if Team Liquid is able to beat Evil Geniuses tomorrow. It all starts with Immortals. We should be able to beat them. That shouldn't hopefully be a problem, given our current form, and I'm expecting us to, so... Let's not lose the trap game, please. But the problem is there's a, now a bunch of other teams tied with us, including CLG and TSM. Whoever does not make it through is going to be hurting, for sure. Now, we are guaranteed at minimum a tiebreaker because of our record against TSM. Uh, and I believe our record against CLG. I'm not 100% certain on that. But I know we're guaranteed a tiebreaker no matter what. I'm just not sure the technicalities behind it. So, ultimately, we have a little bit of leeway room, but come on, if we're going into this, if we have a potential to get the three seed and avoid playing C9 in round one and instead play FlyQuest, that would be phenomenal. That would be great. Do I see it happening? I don't know. I hope Team Liquid plays a little bit more loose, a little bit more relaxed now that they're eliminated and is able to pull off the upset against an evil geniuses that are not playing the same when they're playing from their their facility whatever uh you want to call it they are beatable for now and i'd rather avoid facing them or c9 whenever they're both in studio if at all cost or if at all possible either way i know this is going to be a shorter video there's really not too much to say right now other than just nerves going into tomorrow we can 3-0 this weekend and then win the tiebreakers as well and prove to people that we are officially here to stay. Tenacity and Busio are developing into good players in a very similar way that Evil Geniuses had last spring. So you know what? Anything's possible. But I do want to address the comment that I got from one of the uh, name M members on Twitter today that, oh, they don't want to see 100 Thieves make it to MSI because of the style that we play. They find it boring and they don't think it'll work there. I don't give a single freak about MSI or international play at this point. I really don't. I'm so tired of North American fans constantly devaluing the LCS split because of our expectations for MSI and Worlds where we're eventually going to obviously not perform well. And then it just, looking back on the year, makes it feel like shit, if we're being completely honest. Because any teams that we hype up and we're excited about, if they get smashed on the international stage, well then, you know, what good was it? Like, it's annoying. I don't care if it's not flashy. I don't care, quite frankly, who makes it. Again, 100 Thieves could be 10th, and we could be sending a slow-playing slow fly quest and a fast-playing EG, and I feel the exact same way. Enjoy the LCS split. Focus on domestic play and domestic results before we get ahead of ourselves and start thinking about international, because all that does is foster negativity and resentment towards the region and just complaining. I just want to have fun and enjoy this, and I don't think thinking about international play any time prior to the season being done is useful or helpful in any scenario but I don't know maybe that's just me maybe I truly do just think different and I'm weird for it but you know what 
it is what it is. I have my own individual thought train behind it, and yeah, that's it. So I'm actually going to wrap this up here. Got to probably edit this tomorrow morning and hopefully get it out for you guys. But yeah, I got a few comments saying that the New York City vlog style ones were actually kind of fun to watch. So I'll keep doing them if you keep liking them. So be sure to drop a like, drop a comment down below. What team do you think is going to miss playoffs? Is it going to be CLG, TSM, 100 Thieves, or yeah, 100 Thieves, or even Golden Guardians maybe? Let me know. And if you're not subscribed already, be sure to do so. Catch you on the next one.